Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of Clicking Buttons. Today, we're going to have guest Andriana, aka Call Me Leah, on the podcast. And she is a sponsored poker pro, as well as an influencer. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> hello. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, thank you so much uh, for having me here. I'm, uh, I was really excited when you asked me to be your guest. So yeah, here we are. <laughs> Thanks for the introduction. Yeah, I'm really excited to have you on as well. I've, uh, as a Twitch streamer myself, I love Twitch. And I noticed that uh, you were on the grind for a little while now uh, in the Twitch streets. I uh, caught your stream. And I really like what you're doing. You have a great community that you've been building. I think that you uh, lovingly call them your little dragons. Um, <laughs> yeah. Is there like a background for the dragon theme or are you just kind of like dragons or? <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I am mother of all dragons. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, no, because uh, uh, this was something that uh, I used to say, uh, used to say as a, when I was in high school. So I guess it stayed, and I translated it from Serbian, my language, to English immediately, and that's why uh, it, yeah, it stayed. It stayed. I like also. Uh, I liked it, watching Game of Thrones, and uh, I think. People associated me with Khaleesi and uh, they liked also being called little dragons and also, yeah, that's why, okay. basically. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I know your name, call me Leah, that's, uh, Leah is uh, Fox in Serbian, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you have that kind of nickname also, so. Um, yeah, I have so many nicknames. You got a lot of nicknames, yeah. But, yeah, um, exactly. And uh, Andriana is your actual name, but. Uh, so, did, are you from? You're from Serbia. That's correct. Yes, I'm from Serbia. And now you're in Montenegro. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, we'll dive into that a little bit. But first, I'm just curious about um, since this is mostly a podcast about online poker, um, I've seen that you're you're grinding a lot of online poker. That's for sure. Um, what? How did you get into it? What started you into online poker? Uh, well, basically, I started playing when it was COVID time, so I was not introduced first uh, with uh, live poker. But uh, back in high school, I uh, was helping one organization to organize live cash games. And uh, that's where I was, let's say, introduced a little bit into poker. Then I went to live in Malta and uh, where I was surrounded with people that were playing poker live online. They were streaming a casino, um, online games, etc. I met a lot of streamers. I saw it's really interesting and I saw how they are also building their, their communities, meeting a lot of people, um, just enjoying what they are doing. So I was like, okay, I mean, this, this really looks interesting. And I wanted to, first of all, to know how to play poker because I love strategy games. I used to play a lot of online games. I used to even before be competitive in uh, Counter-Strike uh, oh, in really? Serbia. So yeah, <laughs> uh, then I played a lot of uh, uh, League of Legends. And yeah, this is something that a lot of people don't know about me, but uh, <laughs> used to have that <laughs> gaming side. I think a lot of people that came into poker like have a gaming side, but so that was a long time ago when I was in high school. So yeah, when I was in Malta, uh, basically I started uh, learning a little bit of uh, online uh, poker. I started uh, playing on GG. And uh, after that, I moved uh, to Serbia because it was Corona time. It was uh, really annoying in Malta. You needed to we wear your masks everywhere, uh, like even through streets, everything. And then in Serbia, it was more free, let's say. And in Serbia, I started immediately studying poker, immediately playing, but I was, let's say, more playing than studying. So when people, that's, this is what I usually say on my stream, uh, People that know me from the beginning know how much they were pissed off when they were on my stream in the beginning because I didn't know anything. I, I was just like but, button clicking and that's it. <laughs> well, then you're on the right so, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's, what, that's why I said I like the name, <laughs> clicking buttons. <laughs> yeah. Used to do that. 
been there and done that. <laughs> that's good. Well, I think that's that's really cool that you had like um, a video game background. I think you're right. A lot of people that come into online poker have that kind of uh, online video game background, and even more specifically, like the competitive online gaming background. I think yeah. um, there's just something about strategy that draws people into games like Counter Strike, League of Legends. I was also like. I, I wouldn't say I was amazing at Counter Strike, but I used to compete in like some leagues back in the day, and uh, also League of Legends. So nailed those two games. <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. But uh, yeah, so you said you were more of like a online gamer before you got into online poker. Is that is that something that you just kind of have always been into of video games or? Uh, yes, definitely. I can say that uh, I used to um, spend all my summers in um, high school and also elementary school at home. <laughs> Fortunately, nice. I mean, just kidding. Because I also, um, I was in high school. I was going in a high school of uh, programming, and then I was on university of programming. And let's say I was always uh, around computers. Uh, like uh, doing something, uh, looking at some kind of programs uh, to, uh, let's say, new all the new games that were coming out. So let's say, yeah, I can, um, I can say that I had a really gaming background. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's that's a that's a pretty cool transition. Um, so yeah, you said you moved back to Serbia. Um, how did you get involved with? Uh, streaming and you said you were interested in kind of people doing it in malta did you start streaming in malta or did you start streaming back home or i know you're in montenegro now so yeah uh, exactly uh yeah I'm in montenegro now but when i was in malta i started streaming maybe uh one month before i moved to serbia so I started yeah, streaming a little bit of there and uh, continued to stream yeah, when I came in Serbia. But I didn't stream a lot. Um, I didn't stream a lot because I was just getting familiar with it. Uh, and yeah, I just continued because I loved it. I love all people on the stream. I love my little dragons. And uh, yeah, I think uh, people in poker community have the best humor ever. So <laughs> just, just loving it from the beginning. Even though people didn't like my stream sometimes because like i said i didn't know what i was doing <laughs> in poker tournaments but here we are crushing 100 nl stakes after there one year so yeah well we'll get to that <laughs> soon for sure um yeah that's that's pretty awesome so you've you started off you know doing all of this uh streaming stuff and i noticed that uh looking through some of your youtube stuff you were really into fitness probably still are into fitness um, how has that been going with like, you know, balancing poker, influencer, fitness, like that's a lot to try and balance all at the same time. Yeah, exactly. That's why I, uh, went more with poker, um, uh, side, uh, before, before I became poker streamer and poker player, I was a fitness influencer and, uh, I started, uh, like, uh, I started doing um, a lot of stuff for my social media around fitness because I love healthy life lifestyle, I love healthy food, I love to exercise, everything related to that, uh, here I am, <laughs> literally, but it was really hard to balance both of those because I, I cannot be in the same time a fin fitness influencer and a poker streamer and influencer also, so I went with the poker side because... Uh, Let's say I just uh, love the game. I love the game. It um, o occupied me completely, so <laughs> I became obsessed. And um, yeah, but I plan to continue with fitness. I plan some someday, like uh, let's say I'm, I will I will have my own programs uh, for fitness because I used to have a lot of problems. I I I, I had anorexia. Then uh, uh, I completely lost weight, then I put on the weight, I've been through all those stages and I want to help people uh, to just overcome all the, all of those obligations and all, all of those uh, obstacles to just, um, yeah, maintain their goals. Oh, I mean, cool. I love this. Yeah, that's great that you want to help others and use your experience to um, to do that. I think that's that's a wonderful thing because... 
um, a lot of people might be in the same position you are in and, you know, having a resource like that is in invaluable. Um, yeah. In poker, especially, poker is a tough, you know, a tough world to be healthy in, right? It's, uh, if you're an online poker, you're just sitting at your desk like this for hours, just, you know, clicking buttons, like uh, the podcast says. But um, even in live poker, you're just kind of sitting at a casino. Usually it's like, depending where you live, maybe in Europe, it's like smoke filled. It's just, it's hard to find uh, a really healthy alternative while you're playing poker. Um, I actually used to be into bodybuilding when I was 19, 20 um, and a personal trainer myself. I was uh, on track to be a nutritionist and then I found poker <laughs> and now <laughs> here I am. So um, yeah, uh, I can be in a testament to, uh, it's tough. It's tough to stay fit. It's tough to, um, as I say that now, I'm trying to like, you know, sit up in my chair, but um, it is tough. So I uh, applaud you for, you know, keeping that up and doing the fitness stuff as well. Um, maybe even like combining something with fitness. Have you ever thought about like doing like a fitness program for poker players or something or like a stretching routine? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> I've been planning that and uh, I'm really amazed that uh, you were on the literally same path, let's say. And you know how much uh, healthy lifestyle is important to maintain uh, everything in your life. So I, I will, I'm planning to make program for people that uh, are sitting a lot at home and working uh, at home because I started having back problems because of it, because I transferred from being really, really active to sitting, playing poker, uh, making content, uh, whatever, like just sitting at the, in front of the computer for long, long hours. So I got back problems and I want to help uh, people to prevent that. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. That's great. So it sounds like you have a lot of ideas in the future. Um, like, would you consider yourself uh, more of an influencer, more of a poker player, more of a content creator? Like you have a lot of, uh, you know, hats. Like, is there one that you would maybe prioritize right now over the others? Are you very, it seems like you're very focused on poker right now. Yes, exactly. I uh, wanted to say the that, uh, uh, I prioritize, prioritize like poker currently, I mean, not currently, I probably for a long time I'm going to prioritize it because like I love it and this is uh, part of my identity now and I, I identify myself as a more poker player than a poker like influencer, but also you can balance those things uh, and I love producing content, this is something that I loved from uh, the beginning. And it's a bit hard, yeah, I can admit it's a bit, a bit hard to study, to stream and produce content. Uh, so I'm trying to maintain uh, all of uh, three of those, but because of, I am also playing poker for one year, cash games, especially, just especially uh, game, uh, cash games uh, for one year. And it's hard to study constantly something that is new to you and also pr produce content. So, yeah, yeah. but love it still. Yeah, and we'll I, continue definitely. I noticed that um, you are primarily a cash game player, as am I. Um, was there a reason you chose cash games, or uh, just didn't like tournaments? What was the reason behind choosing the cash games? Uh, choosing the cash games, like in the beginning, was because I cannot, uh, I couldn't sit for eight hours, like doing something that I couldn't understand uh, one hundred percent. And then uh, when I saw there are, ca there are cash games, there is Russian cash, for example, where I can uh, grind a lot of hands uh, in a small amount of time, I was blown away. I, was, I said, this is, this is me, this is, uh, this is what I'm going to play. And I loved cash games from the, from the point like when uh, I started playing cash games, when I started working with my coach, um, I just fell in love with those. But I plan in the future to play more tournaments also. Because... Yeah. Uh, I don't like to do something. I, do, I didn't like to play as much uh, tour as much uh, tournaments because I didn't know uh, the strategy that well, and I wanted to uh, study it really fast. Of course, we as humans we want to see results almost immediately. But I was patient. I was patient. So yeah, just um, just stayed on it. Okay. Yeah, that's that basically why I do it as well. Uh, fast fold, especially, is the most attractive thing for me 
because of exactly what you said. I just, I want to sit down. I want to like play as many hands as possible. I don't want to sit around for 12 hours and uh, deal with that. So um, yeah, I can see why you'd be attracted to that, especially as a more fitness conscious you know, person. Um, do you think that you, you talked a little bit about your coach? I've, I've noticed a lot that you work with uh, Jalderman. Uh, another fellow Twitch streamer. How did you uh, become to kind of collaborate with him? And it seems like is is coaching kind of your way of improving in poker? Do you feel like that's that's going well? Uh, he reached out uh, to me and uh, we met on Discord and started talking about the game, about everything. Um, I think... Uh, I think of Jared as a brother that I never had, <laughs> literally. So that's how our relationship became really, really, um, let's say, really good. Uh, also, he uh, is the reason why I'm pro yeah, why I am improved like uh, that fast in uh, cash games. Also, I mean, um, you need to put in the work. You are the one that's gonna listen to your coach, listen to uh, like all the strategy and everything. But um, he was there as a mental coach and also as a, a strategy coach, as a game coach. And uh, yeah, love his work, love what he's doing for a poker community, poker people. Also, he's going to release a new app uh, really, really, really soon. So just just love love his look uh, on poker's, uh, poker world and everything. Yeah. Um, talking about poker communities, I've noticed that you're a big part of i think it's flip is it the uh the flip community i um tell me more about flip and how you're involved with that uh, so flip community is a shortcut from uh, fantastic ladies in poker it's the biggest female based community uh related to poker um admin is uh, daiva burn if you you probably heard about her she's also advocate uh, for gg poker she's amazing uh, woman that is um, that is uh, literally supporting other girls, uh, other women in uh, poker, constantly uh, being there, um, uh, congratulating, congratulating them. Uh, sorry for my accent. Oh, no <laughs> got, got mixed with, with Serbian. <laughs> so <laughs> they always think I'm Russian, but I'm not not Russian, guys. I'm Serbian. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, I'm proud. I'm really proud to be a representative of uh, that community because I think it's really uh, it's really nice because there's a lot of uh, guys in poker like major majority of uh, people in poker let's say are guys so it's uh, it's uh, nice to have a community among women also yeah I think a lot of you know you see a lot of discussion on on poker twitter about trying to help grow the game for women and you have a bunch of guys inputting their opinions and i always say it's better for the guys to just shut up and listen to the women <laughs> because they know right they know how they feel they know how they want to be represented in poker and i think uh an organization like flip is a great one to support if you do really want to support women in poker exactly exactly cannot agree more uh so uh, yeah all these guys full of flip on twitter they are amazing yeah <laughs> and, and yeah you, you cannot enter the facebook group, group because uh it's only female based uh, <laughs> Never <okay>. like. <laughs> i uh I, th I think i still follow them on twitter though just to like see how you know everything's going and keep updated and stuff like that um yeah it's good to of course support all of uh what they're doing um i think mm -hmm. i might have seen a tweet that you went deep in like a live tournament uh fairly recently or was it an online gg tournaments um but they were all cheering you on for that one what was which one was that uh it was uh live my first live, one, live yeah. tournament yeah how was that how was that experience oh my god it was amazing it was in serbia and uh, uh like a lot of people recognized me that uh, i'm playing uh, at the time ambassador for uh, gg poker and they they were saying like oh it's our girl like <laughs> from here and it was really nice experience uh, they were all so 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 uh, welcome uh, and uh, they're just like warm people I love Serbian people I love Balkan people and 
Uh, it was really nice. I busted Ace King uh, against the uh, trees, but uh, then went to play cash games, of course, crushed cash games and <laughs> went home. <laughs> but overall, the experience was amazing. Nice. How, how are the cash games in Serbia? I don't... Are they good or...? I... Yeah, they're good. Uh, I think overall, uh, cash games, live cash games everywhere are good. <laughs> I don't know if uh, there is any place where cash games, uh, live cash games are not good. Yeah, so, that's uh, probably true. So It's so interesting to play live. Yeah, it's it's a different world. Uh, I don't know, Completely. you know, this is, this is a podcast about online poker, so I'm not going to talk too much about live poker because I will just sound silly, but um, yeah. <laughs> Getting back to online poker, your what's your grind setup look like? Like, what's your, um, you know, your day look like for grinding poker? Do you play on uh, multiple monitors? Uh, start off with, I guess, you know, what's your actual setup, and then what does your day look like uh, playing an online okay. session? Uh, so uh, my setup is uh, this mic here, <laughs> as you can see, I of course will immediately put a sticker on. Uh, I have two monitors and uh, before that I had uh, more, but I find uh, that two is completely enough if you're grinding, uh, for example, two, if you're grinding cash games, let's say. Right. Uh, and uh, yeah, basically that's, uh, that's it. And my day, I'm... I really love making schedules. I'm uh, having live coachings every single week, and um, I love habits. I will. I love making my own schedule, uh, doing um, whatever I can to have better organization. And my day looks like uh, I wake up. Uh, I immediately go to stretch, or uh, I go for a walk because it helps my um, back problems. It helps like overall. Um, to maintain the tonus of muscles, that is really important. And after that, I will stream around 2 or 3 p.m. till, uh, let's say, 3 hours I will stream. After that, mandatory break. It's going to last around uh, 1 uh, hour and a half or 2 hours. Um, and, of course, uh, in, I mean, eating, it's, it's, it's included in that. <laughs> I'm not sorry That's without myself. saying, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I love to prepare. I love to prepare food. I'm a huge foodie, and uh, I love to try new food. Everything that that was that was a pretty hard uh, thing to maintain uh, my weight and everything because I love food. I just like love eating and love preparing so much. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, but after that, after after the break, after the stream, I'm gonna play one hour more and study one hour. Uh, that's going to be like five times a week and two days a week. Uh, I'm going to have one uh, resting day and one day when uh, I'm making content. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So very planned out. Um, I think that's a stark contrast to what I do, which is wake up and sit at my computer and start the day. <laughs> I don't really plan too much past that, but um, I do think it is good that you have like some fitness before you start playing um especially like waking up if are, are you someone who drinks coffee to like kind of get extra energy or more of a oh, natural yeah. kind of food energy uh both both but uh i love coffee i love turkish coffee i'm making it every single day so yeah b before i start the session a cup of coffee there you go it's a must yeah <laughs> there you go yeah Nice. Never drinking it. Never drinking it after six p.m. Let's say because after that uh, I'm just gonna stare in my ceiling with a few yeah. eyes. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what happens to me. I literally have coffee at um, noon in the afternoon, and uh, it's like two o'clock in the morning, and I'm in my bed, just like, why can't I fall asleep? So I, <laughs> I'm very sensitive to that. It's tough. Um, yeah, exactly. So uh, we talked a little earlier about your win rate challenge. Um, tell me more about that. I know that you've uh, issued a yourself a challenge to beat 100 NL for, I believe, is it five or six BBs per 100? It's uh, five. BBs. Five. Okay. So yeah. So tell me about what inspired that and, you know, what are your kind of goals around the challenge? Uh, so my goal overall is to go fast through stake, uh, through stakes, to climb up uh, as fast as I can, to study a lot, and to just grind a lot of uh, 
a lot of uh, hands but to not uh, put a huge pressure on myself of course uh, first of all what uh, inspired me to do this challenge is uh, that uh, I love challenges this is how I uh, motivate myself to study more to play more um, and that's how I put the healthy pressure you know like not a huge pressure on myself okay I need to do this challenge till till that and that date no I, I will just okay study it grind it uh, how um, how much I can etc I finished the first uh, first challenge where I went from uh, $50, no, no, did I go from $500, something like that, no, I cannot remember, $500 to $10k, it uh, took around 3-4 uh, months, uh, and after that I wanted to make a new challenge and that uh, I decided to go for win rate challenge, I consulted my coach and um, well, we said, okay, let's make a challenge where after 50k of hands, you're gonna have five uh, big blinds on one on 100 hands after uh, the rake back. So yeah, currently it's going really well. I played 25,000 uh, thousand hands, like 25k hands, uh, and currently win rate is uh, a six blind uh, on 100 hands. Wow, yeah, that's that's really good. <laughs> on so... one, 100. This fly is killing me. <laughs> right. Okay, I, I don't think I could see it, so I just saw you going like this. I was like, "What is she doing?" <laughs> <laughs> Fighting demons here. Yeah. So yeah, so I think that's that's really impressive to start off with your first challenge, five hundred to ten k, and then now you have a win rate challenge. Um, you said you wanted to climb stakes really quickly. Are you interested in playing like high stakes uh, cash games? Is that kind of the end goal? Yes, exactly. Uh, in after I finish this challenge, I'm gonna transfer on 200 NL on uh, regular tables, and after that, uh, hopefully, let's say in a few months, I'm gonna be on 500 NL. So it's my goal to play high stakes, and also it's my goal to travel more and to play uh, more live high uh, high cash uh, games, like maybe. Yeah. That's cool. In yeah. Vegas, of course. Like. I think um, I think that's a really fun experience because online poker is is amazing, but it does have this like I don't know. It's not a sense of uh, loneliness, but it's a sense of like kind of seclusion, and you forget that yeah. this is like a game that you play with other people, you know, because you have a lot of other players that are playing against you online, but you only see their screen name or you see their avatar, and you just you yeah. don't even know it's a person. So like. When you go to live stops and you see these players and they're like, oh, yeah, I've played against you. And you're like, who are you? Like, what? You know me? <laughs> <laughs> right. So it's I think it's a lot of fun to be able to transfer from playing online to playing live. And um, that becomes a whole other new challenge. But there's a lot of really cool places to play as well. Is there any particular stop that you thought about wanting to play at for cash games? Oh, there is uh, this summer. I'm gonna be in Vegas and uh, can't wait for those cash games. Like, can't <laughs> wait for those cash games. <laughs> yeah, that's is it gonna be your first year in Vegas or? Yes, yes. I'm super excited, as you can see by my by my face. Yeah. <laughs> and the reactions. Yeah. Uh, be careful. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's, why? It's a whole Tell it's a why. whole new uh, world over there. I think Vegas is yeah. one of the most unique cities uh, in the u.s just because have you ever been to the u.s i uh, never it's gonna be okay. my first time this summer. oh wow so, yeah so vegas is gonna be uh very different from most cities you've probably been to but it's uh it's fun it, it as long as you're with the right people and you go to the right places and you don't get lost in all of the crazy uh you know traps then you'll have a great time and i think uh online uh live cash um I'm sure everyone's already recommended you the casinos to play at, but there's like the Bellagio, Aria. Um, those yeah. are two that I think I've played the most cash at and I enjoyed. Um, and the win, of course. The win is actually doing uh, really good things too. Did you uh, love it? What's that? Did you love Las Vegas? Um, I mean, <laughs> I did a little too much. I think uh, when I was living, I lived in Vegas for a year. Um, I had uh, an original grindhouse, like um, oh, nice. back in you know 2000, 
2009 or 10, 2011, whenever I, uh, I was playing online poker, people liked to have these houses of online grinders and everyone like lived in the same house. And so I lived in a, a mansion um, with a bunch of young poker players as a young 22, 23 year old. Um, and I was just very irresponsible. <laughs> so I did everything wrong. So if you want any advice on what not to do, I can I can direct you on that. <laughs> nice. um, I will hit you up for that for sure. Yeah. So, uh, but Vegas will be a lot of fun, especially as a cash game player. I think it's uh, it's going to be fun for you. Um, so you talked a, a bit about working with Jalderman. You're doing this challenge. Um, how how are you studying? Are you more of a like game theory kind of uh, player or are you more based in exploitative uh, thought process? Do you read books? Do you, you know, how do you consume poker content and, and what kind of player would you say you are? Uh, let's say I'm concentrated on theory uh, because uh, Jared is, uh, my coach is also concentrated on that. Uh, we, from the first uh, time that we sp uh, spoke on um, Discord, we went through, through all aggreg aggregated reports uh, that he had sold immediately. I, I was sitting on, in my chair and uh, <laughs> I was looking like, like a blank clown, literally. I, I didn't know what he was talking about, but eventually, of course, I understood everything, uh, which I was so <laughs> thankful for. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we are concentrated a lot on theory. Um, I'm doing a lot of, in, I'm studying a lot, like my head is constantly in a PO solver uh, and the GTO wizard. I think it uh, helped a lot in the beginning, but uh, now I'm more in PO because I have customized uh, a customized reflop um, for my rake environment, uh, all those aggregate, aggregated reports. Uh, how I'm studying, I will take a spot, for example, for single raise spots. Uh, gonna do all nine that I listed, like for example, cutoff versus big blind, bottom versus big, uh, bottom versus big blind, all single race spots, and then I will go through uh, patterns of boards and study literally like that. But I'm not a person who will study um, how to say this uh, literally on the computer. I need to write down everything. Like I'm gonna show you here. <laughs> I know people. Some people. I know some people gonna laugh, but this is me. Like it's also scientific proof that uh, when you write something down, yeah. you're gonna for sure you're gonna remember it. So I make my little uh, patterns. I make it interesting. And if I see somebody saying uh, it's uh, because you're a girl or something, no, because. <laughs> I just like to study like that. That's it, like literally. Okay, <laughs> this is how. Oh wow! Yeah, that's how... great. <laughs> literally, yeah. this is how I make my little patterns, and uh, I love. I just like really love to do that, and uh, that's how I've been studying. And my game tremendously changed from uh, when I started um, using those patterns and playing like that. Yeah, I think that's. I mean, that's a great way of retaining your information. Um, it seems like you and I have a lot of similarities in our paths and how we learn and stuff. Uh, here I have, I'll show you my, um, my little notepad, but it's online instead. Nice. Um, hold on. Let me capture my Firefox. That's amazing. Yeah. I really love it. Uh, even though, I mean, of course, majority is on my computer also, but uh, this is how I just train. Let's say. Yeah. So you can't really see nice. the left side of it, but it's it's basically like I have an Evernote online that I just make notes. Um, I... Yeah. Ooh. And so I uh, here there we go. I can see that side. So like if I want to study something, I'll put it in the notepad, and then I'll try and review it later. And I build this in different things, different games. So this this is like my 10th game or something that I've studied because I was in mixed games originally and then switched over to No Limit Hold'em. Um, so it's a lot of notepads. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. But uh, yeah, I, I think that that's a great idea to write things down. I think it's underrated too because when you're done like studying and you're done learning you can always go back to it and be like oh yeah i forgot i did learn this and you know exactly yeah reteach so just yourself like make it... yep yeah also like uh while i'm reading books also i'm gonna 
underline everything and I'm gonna make notes uh, in my Google Keep, for example. So it's it's really important. It, this is how how you're gonna definitely remember it, memorize it. <laughs> yep, yep. Google Keep also another good one for a phone. That's what I used to. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> all the widgets and gadgets. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I guess uh, lastly, what is what does online poker mean to you? You know, like going forward, uh, you got into this world, uh, just kind of interested in strategic games, um, and now you're you're in it. You know, you're you're a sponsored GG Pro, which that's amazing. Congrats with that, by the way. Um, you. You've completed one challenge already. You're working on your next challenge. Like, uh, where do you see yourself going with online poker? And also, what does it mean uh, for you? Yeah, it means a lot to me because uh, through poker, generally, I learned a lot uh, in life because you know how in poker uh, you can see immediately consequences of your own actions. So, uh, like, uh, you can definitely transfer that, that through to life and it kept um, it brought out my side of discipline and consistency and studying so i that's why i love it and it means uh, let's say i, I will not uh, exaggerate when i say it means the world now to me because i learned a lot uh, i see myself uh, playing uh, continuing definitely with online poker because i think uh, there is a lot of potential there i think um, uh, like uh, for example uh, poker houses like uh, for gg for example because i'm sponsored by gg and i'm playing mainly on that i think uh, they are trying to improve it more and more to put a lot of new stuff in the improving of the software and uh, improving for just like customers so they can use it uh, let's say better and more smart and uh, don't uh, like uh, play uh, poker if you're under 18. <laughs> So yeah, uh, see myself more playing um, live and online cash uh, games, uh, cash games for now, but tournaments really soon. So yeah, excited for that. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to plug or let the chat know that you're working on? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm working now on my challenge, uh, which uh, hopefully I'm gonna finish soon then uh, gonna play probably after that uh, gonna in, let's say uh start a new challenge probably it's gonna be also bankroll challenge and uh yeah really grateful for everyone that, that is uh, been the part of the community that's supporting me and uh, as we say always let's uh, go <laughs> all right well thank you very much uh andriana for coming on i really appreciate that and uh i hope that all uh, you have all the success and don't get uh, too crazy in Vegas, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, I cannot promise that, but you're gonna see. <laughs> you're gonna see me somewhere on the news. <laughs> yeah. right. and thank you so much uh, for having me. Uh, it was amazing uh, to be a part of your podcast. Uh, loving the, the idea and loving, uh, like I said, the name. Thank you.